Moments before a pro-Trump mob broke into the Capitol and forced its evacuation, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell R. Key, put his foot down Wednesday on baseless claims that the election was somehow stolen from President Trump. That came after he waited weeks before acknowledging that Joe Biden won the election and played along with Trump's claims of fraud before calling Biden the president-elect in December and setting about trying to avoid what a dozen members of his caucus are doing Wednesday, objecting to the finalization of Biden's win. Trump is now two weeks away from leaving the White House. His allies will only succeed in delaying the inevitable, Congress confirming Biden as the next president. Here is McConnell's speech to a joint session of Congress as its members prepared to confirm Biden's win, annotated with our analysis. Click on the highlighted text to read the annotations. We're debating a step that has never been taken in American history, whether Congress should overrule the voters and overturn a presidential election. I've served 36 years in the Senate. This will be the most important vote I've ever cast. Trump claims the election was stolen. The assertions range from specific local allegations to constitutional arguments to sweeping conspiracy theories. I've supported the president's right to use the legal system, dozens of lawsuits, perceived hearings in courtrooms all across our country. But over and over, the courts rejected these claims, including all-star judges whom the president himself has nominated. Every election we know features some illegality and irregularity, and of course that's unacceptable. I support strong, state-led voting reforms. Last year's bizarre pandemic procedures must not become the new norm. But, my colleagues, nothing before us proves illegality anywhere near the massive scale, the massive scale, that would have tipped the entire election. Nor can public doubt alone justify a radical break, when the doubt itself was incited without any evidence. The Constitution gives us here in Congress a limited role. We cannot simply declare ourselves a national board of elections on steroids. The voters, the courts and the states have all spoken. They've all spoken. If we overrule them, it would damage our republic forever. This election actually was not unusually close. Just in recent history, 1976, 2000 and 2004 were all closer than this one. The electoral college margin is almost identical to what it was in 2016. If this election were overturned by mere allegations from the losing side, our democracy would enter a death spiral. We'd never see the whole nation accept an election again. Every four years would be a scramble for power at any cost. The electoral college, which most of us on this side have been defending for years, would cease to exist, leaving many of our states with no real say at all in choosing a president. The effects would go even beyond the elections themselves.